Hi, it's Jessica at CES. I'm going to show you a couple of things about Word for Office for Mac 2011. A couple really cool things. I think you're going to like them. The first view I'm going to show you is the full screen view in Word 2011. Down here are the little buttons where you can switch between all the different views that you have available to you. And this, this full screen view that I'm going to show you, it's really great because it puts all of the focus um, of the screen on your document itself. So I've just clicked it, and here I am in full screen view in reading mode. Full screen view has a couple of different modes that you can that you can use. One is optimized for reading, and the other is optimized for writing, for working on your document. In both cases, though, the nice thing is you get rid of any extraneous things on the screen. As you can see, the focus is really just on your work and showing it off in its, in its best light. So here I am in reading view, in full screen view. I can click on the page I want to go to, just get a, a, a feel for what the pages are going to look like. And if I want to actually work on the document, I can click right and I have you know the basic tools of Word available to me right here, but the main focus being on my document itself. Now, another thing that I'm going to show you is really cool new view in, in Word, and that is called Publishing Layout View. That's this view down here. And what this lets you do is look at your document the way you would in kind of a desktop um, publishing program. The coolest thing about this view is the ability to see the layers in your document. A lot of us who work on um, documents in desktop publishing programs are very used to working this way. Um, and so it's great that now Word supports our way of understanding um, the layers in our document, how our documents are built. So as an example, I'm going to show you a correction I need to make. And I'm going to use the, the layers in my document to make that correction. You can see I've got these little um, slugs right here and each one these first two have a have a picture on the right and this one the pictures missing and it's because this this um, shape is covering it so I can just come up here to the reorder button click it and now I see my document all broken down into layers I can scroll through them I can see what number the layer is and I can reorder things and make that correction I want in my document here's that picture and I need it to be not way back here on layer 22, but I need it to be here above this little text slug right here. So there it is, my correction's done. Click OK, and there you can see it's fixed in my document. So that's the power of publishing layout view.